Hi, in this video discussion, you will learn jelly manufacturing process, the second part of the jam jellies and the marmalade. In this video discussion, you will learn detail the manufacturing process of the jellies, selection of the fruits for the jelly manufacturing process. The jelly is the product made from the fruit extract juice in which Initially, selection of the fruits is very important. As per the initial, it's containing pectin and the acidity level. They are categorized into the four group. First group in which rich in pectin and acid group. Then second, rich in pectin content but lower in acidity. Third group that is the low in pectin but high in acidity level. And last group that is the low pectin and the low acid group in which the initial content of the pectin and the acidity level as for the ingredient proportions are added externally addition of the pectins and the acid level to make the good quality of the jelly. The standards of the jelly involving must require two final bricks not less than 65%, fruit content not less than 45% and the acidity requirement 0.52 0.75% of the final product. What are the good characteristics of the jelly? The jelly must be required to prepare jelly finally. They must require to transparent, properly set, proper final shape, properly cut, then attractive in colors and the flavors and not recrystallization of it. They not be gummy, sticky, syrupy. These are the good characteristics of the jelly in which the final product preparation of this final product with the good quality we should require to maintain the proper ingredient proportion in which pectin percent required 1% sugar percentage 60 to 65 fruit acid 1% and the water 33 to 38% in order to make the good jelly this proportion required to properly maintain the jelly manufacturing process initially pectin extract its containing amount of pectin is very important. The pectin is a carbohydrate substances which is extracted from the fruits and as per the initial level, some of the additional pectins must require to addition in the jelly manufacturing process. As per the, the initial fruit ripeness, if the fruits is unripe, unripe fruits, it's containing the protopectin which is the insoluble in water which is not good for the in jelly manipulation process if the fruit is overripe then overripe fruit in which the pectin is converted into the pectic acid which is also not good for the in jelly manipulation process if the fruit is properly ripe in which the this protopectin that is the unripe fruit containing protopectin which is converted to the pectic pectin which is good for the manufacturing process of the jelly therefore then second addition of the pectin for the jelly manufacturing process external addition of the pectin in which market available number of the grades of the pectin in which fast setting pectin or the slow setting pectin in which amount of its containing methoxyl group that is the high methoxyl or the low methoxyl you can see for the managing process of the jam and the marmalades suitable for the making of the jam and marmalade by using the fast setting pectin and the, for the managing process of the jellies by addition of the low methoxyl pectins the next parameter consideration is the acid in which the addition of the citric acid or the tartaric acid in for the jelly manufacturing process required to acidity that is the 0 0.7 to 0 0.75 uh, percent which is maintained by addition of the external acids then the acid to sugar ratio maintaining is very important you can see the addition of the pectin 1 percent sufficient then the bricks level to acidity level we can vary uh, and to make the good quality of the jelly then the addition of the sugar the sugar in which the inversion uh, process must require to occur to prevent the recrystallization 
then the initial uh, sugar level that is the initial fruit pulp uh, sorry initial fruit juice or the pectin extract containing the sugar percentage as per the addition of the sugar then judging of the end point the judging of the end point by using the different method in which the Briggs thermometer or by a traditional way to make the uh, proper cooking and to make the proper jelly. The manufacturing processing steps involving first properly selection of the fruits in which the proper ripe fruits are selected. Then after the pre-processing carried out, then uh, pre-processing in which extraction, pressing, cutting process, these are the steps in which the extracted juice, uh, after that uh, the extracted juice in which uh, extract the juice is carried out by different way or maybe cutting and then addition of the water and the extraction of the pectin is carried out by using the steam jacketed kettles after the extraction of the pectin this extracted pectin initial containing the tss as acidity and the pectin test is carried out as per the initial level the standardization is carried out and the other ingredients are added properly then cooking is carried out during the cooking steam jacketed kettles is used uh, during the cooking process, initially sugar, citric acid are uh, added initially, then pectin is added at the end, then other additives are also added at the end of the cooking. After the preparation of the final product, they are transferred into the jelly molds. Then final product is properly packaging is carried out, then labeling and the secondary packaging is carried out. These are the steps involving in the jelly manipulation process. The first one is the example. Gawa jelly manipulation process. The main steps involving first properly ripe fruits are selected, then cutting process is carried out. That means selection, pre processing steps, then extraction of the pectin, in which addition of the water and the cooking is carried out for the half an hour. And uh, during the cooking process, addition of the citric acid to extract the pectin content of that fruits after the extraction they are extracted is separated by the by the muslin cloth by pressing process to extract the juice after the extraction as per the other ingredients are added in with the sugars and then uh, sugar addition is carried out then cooking is start then after the final bricks is reached then addition of the pectins is carried out then uh, judging of the end point during the cooking process is very important then after the judging of the end point then next addition of the other additives is carried out then the filling packaging and the sealing is carried out then next labeling and the secondary packaging these are the steps involving in the manufacturing of the gava jellies the judging of the end point by using the thermometer or by using the bricks meter or by using the drop test is carried out the second one is the example orange jelly manipulation process in which properly selection of the ripe fruits then pre-processing in which washing cutting process then extraction of the juice the extraction of the juice is carried out by using the different machines halving and curing machines etc the extracted juice with addition of the water and the cooking process to extract the pectin content and after the extract pectin content filtration is carried out then addition of the sugar and the other ingredients and the continuously cooking is carried out up to the uh, judging of the end point then uh, in between the cooking process uh, whatever the scum is formation the scum is removed and final product uh, addition of the other ingredients uh, so, sorry other additives the addition of the coloring and the coloring may be added with the flavoring and the preservatives then filtration and uh, then transfer into the glass bottles then after that the properly sealing is carried out uh, or maybe transfer into the molds and uh, then after that packaging is carried out these are the main steps involving in the manufacturing process of the orange jelly the main defects in the jelly manufacturing process first the formation of the crystals if the not properly inversion is occur then it is possibility then scenarysis or the sweeping if the not properly maintain the acidity level or not properly packaging and the storage is carried out the next problems may be possibility of the too soft formation of the jelly if not judging the end point or the excess or the overcooking is carried out then possibility to more uh, consistency is uh, thick consistency or the stiff consistency possibility 
the next one is the maybe possibility of the formation of the cloudy bubbles uh, if the properly extraction is not done if, if the extract containing uh, the particles then it is possibility then last one is the mold growth on the jelly or the microbial polish may be possibility if the not properly maintain the hygienic conditions or not properly addition of the preservatives what is mean by synthetic jelly and uh, how it is prepared as per the name synthetic jelly or also called as a fruit flavored jelly you can see this is the label of the synthetic jelly the main ingredients involving that is the first water which is used as a high quantity water sugar then acidity that is the citric acid then addition of the thickening agent in which the thickening agents uh, added with the number of the thickening agents are available in which agar agar cmc powder then sodium alginate gelatin gaur arabic or the gums these are the gums or maybe the agar agar or the xanthan gum like these are the thickening agents which are used for the manipulation process of the synthetic jelly along with addition of the coloring and the flavoring substances these are the synthetic colors and the flavors proper proportionally used to make the jellies in this manipulation process involving the first uh, ingredient that is the water with addition of the sugar then the organic acids then the addition of the thickening agents then addition of the coloring and the flavoring agent then the properly cooking to judging the end point then fitting into the molds and uh, then finally packaging sealing and uh, labeling is carried out how to prepare the synthetic jelly powders the synthetic jelly powders is also available in the market this synthetic jelly powder is prepared by using the uh, similar ingredients without water in which sugar then addition of the thickening agents then citric acids and the color and the flavors are used and the prepared the synthetic jelly powder these are the references used for the preparation of this powerpoint presentation in this video discussion you will learn jelly management process thank you very much